in this video I'm going to show you how to do baubles on your Gallery London Serenity Loom. Now baubles, I'll show them to you, they're just basically like these little knots. They're cute to do if you're doing like flowers, you can do designs with them. There's really a lot of uses for them. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm on eight pegs. You can cast on however many you want, but that's just what I've got. I'm going to show you how to do these. I'm just using a U stitch just because I like it just works up very quickly. Now let me see, where was my last bobble at? It was right in the middle. So we will go down a bit. All right, and we'll do a bobble right here. When you get to where you want to do a bobble, you e-wrap the peg, knit over once, e-wrap, knit over twice, three, four, five. You can adjust the size of your bobble by how many times you wrap. And go to the next. Kind of lock that in because this right here is very loose and it kind of wants to pop off. Now what we need to do at this point, which I will just pull this up so we can see. Now we need to get the original stitch before we started doing our bobble and pull it up, which this is, uh, the gauge on this loom is tighter than your normal looms. So you want to find like the stitch like right beside it and just follow that over and pull it up. Which I have to turn this the opposite way so I can see. So it looks like oops, this stitch right here and you just pull that up on the peg. Take your bottom over the top and then just I was at the end of the road so I'm starting another row. If you are worried that you won't be able to find the right stitch, something you can do, you can take one of these rubber bands and put on the peg and knit over. Now we've got that first, keep that over. Now we've got that first stitch marked. And then you go back. Okay, we're going to bobble on this one. So we e wrap. We'll do one, two, three, oops, four, five, and then move over. And do one just to hold that in. You see, here's a couple others I'd practice using the rubber bands to hold the stitches. And all you do is just cut and pull it out and it is, now the hard part is just angling this so I could show you good. Let me zoom in. Okay, so we can see where this is. And we can see the stitch that it is holding. So right here is the stitch it's holding. So you want to grab that stitch and put it back on the peg. And then later on you can just cut this or you can just take and break it now and pull it out. There's two. So you take bottom over the top and then you just go about your way, which we already did the next one. That's basically all there is to doing bobbles. The hardest part is getting that first stitch. It's not, it's the stitch that's on the peg before you start is what you're looking for to pull up. Now see, there's a real tiny one. Let me push all these down. There's a real tiny one up here. I'm gonna show you the difference. That is with four stitches. If you just want a little bump and you don't want a real big one, cause see, these ones are really big. These ones are the ones with the five. This is one with four. So there you go. That is how you do baubles. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below. 
or you can email me. My email address is in the comment section below as well. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.